When should we use than with an A and then with an E? Even native English speakers mix up these two common words because they are pronounced essentially the same in fast spoken English, but they do have different meanings, so you need to use the correct word when writing. Let's learn the difference between these. I'll show you lots of examples and we'll also cover about 10 common phrases and expressions with them. To review and practice, you can download a free PDF of this lesson text as well as a quiz, which is great to test yourself and see if you really learned the difference. I'll send you the PDF by email when you click on the link under this video and enter your email address. It's totally free and you'll receive it in a few minutes. Let's begin with the word than with an A, T-H-A-N. Than with an A is used after comparative adjectives. For example, I'm older than my brother. A car is faster than a bicycle. The book is more interesting than the movie. Here are 10 more examples with than spelled with an A. Notice how each sentence compares two things. I'd rather go for a walk in the park than stay indoors all day. He is taller than his younger sister. It is better to be safe than sorry. A house is more expensive than an apartment. He has more experience in this field than anyone else. It's colder today than it was yesterday. I find listening to English easier than speaking in English. She is more interested in art than sports. It is easier said than done. I would rather take the bus than drive in heavy traffic. We can express our preferences with I would rather or I'd rather do A than B, as in a couple of those examples. Now let's look at then spelled with an E, T-H-E-N. Then with an E is used in several ways. One is to describe the next event in a sequence or in time, often and then. For example, I finished my homework and then I went to bed. Let's have dinner first, then we can watch a movie. She studied for the test and then she took a break. He cleaned the house and then he went grocery shopping. I need to finish this report and then I can review your documents. So then means the next event in a sequence or the next event in time. Then with an E can also mean at that time, which could be in the past or the future. In this case, it's often used with by, before, after, until, or back. For example, Come to my house at 7.30. I'll be ready then. Then meaning at that time, at 7.30. The deadline is December 31st, so we need to finish by then. Let's meet at the restaurant at 7 p.m. If you're running late, please let me know before then. I'll be busy until 3 p.m., but after then, I'll be available for a meeting. We'll buy a car next week. Until then, we're taking taxis and buses. I was in really good shape in high school. I could run a mile in seven minutes back then. The third meaning of then spelled with an E is in that case. It's often used with if, for example, if you don't have any other plans, then we can go out for dinner tonight. If it's going to rain tomorrow, then we should reschedule the hike. You want to borrow my car? Then you'll need to fill up the gas tank. If you're not feeling well, then you should stay home and rest. You forgot your wallet? then I guess I'll have to pay for the movie tickets. So those are examples of then meaning in that case or in this case. As I mentioned at the beginning, in fast spoken English, than spelled with an A and then spelled with an E often sound exactly the same. They both sound like then when we're speaking fast. Listen to these two examples. I'm older than my brother. First we went to the store and then we went to the post office. So in spoken English, they both sound like then but when we're writing, we need to make sure to use than, T-H-A-N, after comparatives. Now, when you learn English words, it's also good to study some common expressions with them. Since we don't use words in isolation, we always use them in phrases. So let's learn some phrases with than and then. Common collocations or expressions with than, spelled with an A, include earlier than and later than. For example, my alarm goes off at 8 a.m. I don't like to wake up any earlier than that. Our 12-year-old son is allowed to stay up later than our five-year-old daughter. We also have rather than. This means something like instead of or not. For example, you should do something about the problem rather than complaining about it. So instead of complaining about it, you should do something. 
he wants to be a teacher rather than a businessman when he grows up. So rather than a businessman means not a businessman. Other than, which means except or besides or in addition. For example, I have an English class at 7 p.m. Other than that, I have no plans for the day. So I have no plans except for the English class. She speaks three different languages other than English. So in this case, it means in addition to English. Two more common expressions are better than and worse than. We use these to compare things in terms of being good or bad. For example, the second movie was better than the first. It was more exciting. Sorry I'm so late. The traffic was even worse than usual. And more than and less than. We use these to compare quantities. She makes $50,000 a year and I make more than her, about $65,000 a year. The trip to the airport takes less than an hour by train. All right, let's look at common phrases with then, T-H-E-N. These include, well then. This phrase expresses surprise in reaction to someone saying or doing something unexpected or shocking. For example, if someone I thought was a friend tells me, I've never really liked you, I might say, well then, if that's how you feel, we shouldn't be friends anymore. We also have the phrase every now and then, which means occasionally. I don't go to the mall often. I stop by every now and then when there's nothing else to do. We have see you then. We say see you then after we've made plans to meet up with someone at a specific time. For example, the festival starts at 1, so come on over to my house at 1230 and we'll go together. Okay, see you then. Then again is a phrase we use to introduce a contrasting thought or an opposite point of view. For example, I'd love to buy a new car. Then again, the car we have still works just fine. Our next phrase is right then and there. This is an informal way to say in that exact place and time. For example, after Peter showed up an hour late to work, the boss fired him right then and there. He fired him immediately when he arrived late. He didn't wait. He fired him right then and there. And finally, we have even then. Even then means something like in spite of, when something still happens even though there are things that go against it. For example, I presented 10 different reasons this was a bad idea, but even then, he wouldn't change his mind. All right, now you know when to use then with an A and then with an E, so you won't make mistakes with these two words that sound alike but have different meanings and uses in grammar. And you've also learned some common phrases with them. Remember to download your free PDF guide because it includes a practice quiz by clicking on the link under the video and typing in your email. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Talk to you next time.